So one of the questions we often get is, so actually, what's in these manuscripts? And people have a, a mental image of a manuscript as having a beautiful illumination on it, something like an ancient version of the St. John's Bible, the classic medieval, gorgeously calligraphed, gold-covered manuscript. And there are a lot of them that are like that, and we photograph many like that. And we photograph their equivalents in Syriac manuscripts and Arabic manuscripts. But most manuscripts aren't immediately captivating by the beauty of the art. Instead, they are the written records of what people were thinking about, original compositions, notes about history, copies of works that are now lost. And so their beauty becomes apparent when you can actually read them which is why the work of the scholars and the catalogers is so important. Because most of us look at a manuscript page and we say, well, that's really interesting, but it's not terribly meaningful to me. But somebody who can actually read the language, can tell you what's in it, translate it, write an article about it, they're the people who make these manuscripts really speak. So many of our manuscripts consist mostly of text, and they fill up every scrap of the page because these writing surfaces like parchment, which was treated animal skins, or papyrus, or even paper was very expensive, and the labor to write a manuscript was so costly that you didn't waste any piece of the book. And so you write around the corners and the edges. If there's a hole in the parchment, you write around the hole. Because this was their chance to tell something to the future that they thought was important. Places like Ethiopia, we have manuscripts which come with their original carry bag, a goat skin with the fur still on it, somebody's personal copy of the Psalms or of the Gospels that they treasured over a lifetime and then handed on to somebody else and to somebody else. And the book's been repaired, the cover's been re-sewn, the book shows the charred edges of having been left by a campfire at some point when its owner fell asleep while meditating on the scriptures. So each Manuscript has something to tell, not only in the text it contains, but in the book itself, the way it's bound, the extra notes in the margin, the kind of writing in it. All of these things are ways of going into the culture which produced it. And those are all of the things that we study for each one of these manuscripts.